Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you, um, with one of my friends. This is something that one of the students created uh, recently. Good morning. Hey, happy Thursday. Have a thunderous Thursday, right? Have a thrilling Thursday. Hey, it's Thursday, June 8th, 2023. We're glad you're back with us for a great day of learning. It's supposed to be not quite as hot as yesterday. It was pretty warm yesterday, but it's going to be a nice day. So let's take advantage of that because they're talking about maybe a little bit of rain tomorrow, a little sprinkles and a little cooler tomorrow. So we're ready for a great day. Hey, what is this? If you look at this, what do we call this shape? You know what this is called? It's called a rectangular prism. You ever heard of it? Rectangular prism? Yeah. So my little friend here is a rectangular prism because look at this, the front side of it, if you just look at the, 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 the face of it here, it's a square. The back side is a square. But look at the other sides, the rectangles. There's a rectangle, there's a rectangle, there's a rectangle, and all the way over here is a rectangle. It's a rectangular prism. This is my rectangular prism friend named Roxy. Roxy the rectangular prism. How you doing, Roxy? Um, hey, you guys ready for a great day of learning? On our lunch menu today, we've got spaghetti and meatballs with savory green beans, or you can have a ham and American cheese sandwich. Please remember to take a fruit and a vegetable with every school meal. What's tomorrow? It's Friday. It's Popcorn Friday. It's also Bearcat Friday. Remember tomorrow to wear your orange and black. Let's celebrate the Bearcats. I know they had the parade last night. Um, so all the seniors got to go down. They started here at Frylands. They went down through Main Street and just got to celebrate with our community. Uh, finally finishing high school, 13 years of school, and they're going to go on to other things. Some going on to college, the military, a trade school, a, a job somewhere. So we congratulate all of our Bearcats, and we're going to celebrate them tomorrow because on Bearcat Friday, while we're or wearing the orange and black, seniors are going to come through our school Kids that used to come to our school when they were your age, they're going to be here tomorrow, and we'll celebrate them with our senior walk starting about 9.30 tomorrow morning. Wear your orange and black tomorrow because it's a great day to be a bear cat, just like every day is a great day to be a falcon. Hey, you know what's coming up after Popcorn Friday and the senior walk tomorrow? A week from tomorrow is field day. Yay! We'd love to have a great field day turnout. And what that means is the more volunteers that we get to come to the school and help us. Um, you wanna volunteer? All right, Roxy, the rectangular prism. Um, she's, gonna, she's gonna volunteer. What are you gonna do? With water balloons? I don't think so. Um, Roxy may be out at the water balloons, but we'd love to have parent volunteers come to our school next Friday. What we need them to do, though, is to sign up ahead of time. They do have to have their volunteer packet filled out and ready, and we want to know how many are coming because the more parents that come and help volunteer, the more stations we can have out. The more fun and uh, fun activities and stations that you can go to next Friday, which is our field day. Hey, you know what tomorrow is, too? Tomorrow is the day, the last day, hopefully the last day, that you turn in your library books. Tomorrow's the day we're looking for all students to turn in books that they've got out, uh, maybe in a backpack, under your bed, under your pillow, under your favorite stuffy, somewhere at home, or maybe even in your, your family's car. Look for any of your lost or um, still hanging around your house library books. We want to get those all turned in. We want to get our inventory done to make sure we've got our books back because then we're going to do a summer checkout. But first, we want to get them all back and know what we got um, so that we're ready for that summer checkout because I hope you plan on reading this summer because you know what, boys and girls, I don't know if you knew this or not, but your success in keeping all of those hardworking skills that you've been doing all year long the, the hard work that you've been doing, you can keep that over the summer by doing just one thing. It's reading. If you read over the summer, you actually will keep up all of those skills um, that you've been working hard and practicing all school year long. So if anything, please read every day in the summer just for like 15, 20 minutes. So hopefully you check out some summer books, check out the library in town, Great books there as well. We want to keep reading. Reading every day, that practice a little bit every day helps us become better readers. All right. Let's see. Do I have anything else going on? How about birthdays? Woo. All right. I got a couple birthdays to announce for today. Happy. We have quite a few on the 8th. Happy birthday today to Natalia Acone. 
Also, happy birthday to Chloe Ballou. As well, happy birthday to Diamond Bardsley. And happy birthday as well to Mike Cragen. And happy birthday to Haley Boydston. So happy birthday to the five of you. You can come on down and pick out of the birthday bucket this morning. All right, boys and girls, Roxy, the rectangular prism, and I want to wish you a wonderful Thursday at Frylands. It's a thrilling Thursday. Let's do our best at all times. And always remember, your Frylands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Have a great day of learning. We'll see you soon.